Hey guys, it's me, Gluten Free Brownie, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, you may hear my computer freaking out in the background. I'm going to be recording Sims later today, but for now, I'm doing something that I had an idea for and I'm really excited about it, so let's get into this. I am going to be showing off my nativity sets. Um, I've been collecting nativity sets since I was maybe about 10 years old. Um, I started collecting them because my mom likes to collect Santa figurines and my sister likes to collect snowman or she used to collect snowman stuff and so I wanted to collect my own thing and at first it was going to be angels like Christmas angels but um, after a while I decided on nativity sets because I really like nativity sets. I like setting them up. I like that there's different kinds of nativity sets. So yeah, let's jump right on into this. This one is called All is Calm. And it's just um, the Christ child with animals surrounding him. Um, it's a really, it's just a single piece. And I can't remember if it was a gift from my mom or a gift from a friend. But I will have to double, double check on that one. This one right here was a keepsake from my grandmother. She um, found out I wanted to collect nativity sets, so she gave this one to me. And yeah, I have to, I have so many, I have to s display some of them in front of my movies. But yeah, this one is really cute and is really fun. I have a very specific way of setting up some of my nativity sets. The angel always has to be behind the Christ child. Um, and I have the animals on that side. And I try to get the kings to come in from the east. Um, also, I have this random mouse that came from my grandmother's house after she passed away, so I've just been kind of hanging on to it. Um, the present broke off from the earthquake, but I fixed it just recently. Now, I can't remember where I got this one, but it's I, I do like the simplicity of it, but it's also very detailed. The You have the holy family and just two sheep. So that one's really fun. Gotta go into widescreen now for reasons. This one was from my sister um, after I told her I wanted to collect nativity sets. So she got me this one. And this is really fun because they're all like these little round chubby people. And then you got the three kings and the animals are just circles. And uh, the sheep are just circles. And this one has the shepherd too. And again... Um, I like to keep the Holy Family on the manger, and if there's room, I like to put the angel right behind the Christ Child, and Christ Child's really cute, just like this little ball of joy. <laughs> the angel is holding a banner saying Gloria. This one right here is another one. I can't remember where it came from, but it's also a convenient one because um, it's just the Holy Family in the manger, but it's all one piece as well, and that one's really fun. Now, this one is really special because it was my first ever nativity set, and I had a very specific way of setting it up um, when I was younger, but um, it's changed over the years. But uh, yeah, I did always keep the three kings coming in and um, the holy family in the manger with the angel right behind the Christ child and the shepherd on the other side. But with these, I usually had... Um, I'll set it up. I'll set that up for you real quick just to show you like why or how I like to set up the animals growing up. But yeah, the the two the the donkey and the cow had to be on the sides and the sheep always had to be on the front like that. That's how I used to set it up growing up. But as I've gotten older, I prefer to keep the, the other sheep by the shepherd and these two can stay here cuz that looks good. Yep. <laughs> Now, this one is really fun. This was, I'm, I'm pretty sure this was a gift from my mom and dad um, one Christmas. Um, it's the word Noel. It is also one single piece. It's also a pretty big piece, and I also have to, like, store things, like, in front of my bookshelves as well. Because, again, I have so many nativity sets, I don't really know where to put them. But, yeah, this one's really fun. Just the word Noel, and then you have the Holy Family here. So this one's really fun. Uh, this one back here, sorry about the lighting, it's not very good, but it's uh, it's a really fun piece. Um, 
And it is really cute. You got, I'm um, sorry about the lighting again, and you have Noelle in front of it. There's sheep here, there's a, there's a donkey, there's a holy family, the three wise men, and this one has a camel. Um, and I don't know why, and I don't know if you can tell, but for some reason Mary is taller than Joseph. And I don't know why. <laughs> but right behind them you can see two um, golden reindeer just chilling out. Um, my dad, I think, gave them to me after... A while because I was I, re I was really interested in these and I guess he just finally my, my parents decided you know what these are yours now you can have them and uh up there you got some stuffed animals just chilling out <laughs> it's just <laughs> my life is very chaotic I'm also going to be counting the ornaments on my tree so here you have two angels or the Christ child and here we have another precious moments one but this time it's the holy family um, instead. And right up here we have, um, another very old ornament that has always been mine. It is the Holy Family in the Manger, and it's completely made of wood, and it's really tiny. Um, yeah. So this one, I had to put it under my tree this year because it is my biggest... Uh, nativity set that I own. Um, it has really cool writing on one of the roofs of the manger and the star. Um, you can take it off and on if you want to. Sorry, I'm messing up my camera. And then you got these really beautiful and intricate uh, pieces. You got the angel and the holy family. And like I said, I always have to have the angel behind the Christ child. And then you have the three kings, um, and I had to put the, the two tall ones on the manger because they don't stand up well on the Christmas skirt. This was a Christmas skirt that my grandmother made. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just realizing there's another ornament, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, and then you have the shepherd, and then there's a cattle and a donkey, and they both have um, stuff packed on them, which I thought was interesting. So yeah, there's that one. Going back to the tree, I'm realizing that I have another manger set, and it's completely uh, white. I think this one is made out of porcelain. Um, I'm pretty sure this was a gift from my parents as well. Um, it's really beautiful, very simple, um, and also very heavy, so I have to bend the branch and hang it low <laughs> because of how um, heavy it is. This one used to belong to my brother. Um, growing up, me and my siblings all had a nativity set at one point. Um, but when they realized I was making, or I was collecting my own, my brother decided to give me this one. And I always thought this one was really cool because the manger is just this, this full, full-on set. Like, there's an upstairs, there's, like, space in behind. So, um, that's really fun. Makes it very realistic, in my opinion. I don't know. It's just really fun. There's a ladder so you can get to the upstairs. Um, but yeah, I like to show off the Holy Family outside. They're just all chilling. Um, and this donkey, funny thing, um, this guy, ear, the, the, his ear falls off often. So I've had to glue it on back. I've had to glue it back on twice. The shepherd is a little bit awkward because he has trouble standing up, um, but displaying him is also very awkward. But he has a sheep friend, and again, I had a very specific way of doing this when I was younger. The sheep always had to be in the attic for some reason. I'm calling it the attic or the upstairs. He always had to be up there for some reason. I don't know why, but um, now that I'm older, I just keep him by the shepherd. Um, because I keep the camel by the three kings, and, uh, yeah, I have the three kings just coming on in. And I, I like these, this set of kings that I have. They're very, uh, poseable. I don't know how to put it, but they're just, they're fun to work with. They're also very detailed and, um, like, pretty, um, I want to say diverse, but I don't know if it's diverse enough. Uh, anyways, uh, continuing on. Shelf right here. So this shelf is um, the lower shelf that I display things on. Um, 
and it, I, this is the one that I usually keep on the lowest, but this year it's actually the one on the Christmas skirt, and there's Mr. Grinch chilling out with the things. <laughs> but this one is also really special. It's also a keepsake from my grandmother, who I call Nanny, but she handmade these pieces. Um, so there's Mary, and there's two angels in the back. Let me grab them and show you so you can see. This one is made with, like, a different yarn than the other ones are, so this one's a little bit more special, and it's pink. And here's another angel, um, and this is what she did with the angel wings. It's super fun. Um, she's having trouble standing. So then I also have Joseph. And how she got these uh, pieces to stand up is that she used toilet paper rolls, which I think is very creative. Um, this arm came off, so I had to sew Joseph's arm back on, which is fun. And then here's the Christ child, just a cute little bean. Um, so yeah, that one's really fun, and I keep it on the lower shelf because I have nieces and nephews, and the youngest is two. Um, hopefully that guy will be safe from her. She doesn't come in my room often, though. But if she ever does and she wants to look at these, that'll be a fun thing for her to play with. So this one um, is a is a fun one. I, I really, I've always liked this one. I don't remember where I got it. I'm pretty sure my mom gave it to me. Um, funny thing, Joseph's head has come off twice. This is the second time I've had to glue his head back on. Um, that, that's, my, that's my hand that you're seeing. Um, it should not be as funny as... I think it is, but it, it can be. Uh, this one is another keepsake from my grandmother. It's also a really cute one. You got the Holy Family. Um, I'm some some of them are confusing because they'll just put the shepherd, and then they won't have uh, Joseph. So sometimes if I get just a shepherd piece who just happens to be holding a sheep, I still use it as Joseph because I do feel like Joseph does deserve to be there. Then you got the cute little animals, and then you got the three kings. I also got a Santa Pez thing. Um, also, don't mind all my books in the background. <laughs> um, and this one is a snow globe that I've had for a long time, obviously since 2009. So it's pretty old as well. And it plays music. Um, I'm very careful with this one. And it's just the holy family with a sheep. This one was a gift from my brother when I was on my mission. It was my first Christmas on the mission, and he sent this to me which was really sweet, um, and I was able to use it as decoration for my, uh, my apartments. So over here, this one's got a funny story behind it. Um, I got this when I was a junior in high school, and, um, that year I asked for no more, um, nativity sets, which sounds funny to me, because, like, I don't mind having this many, <laughs> But I did ask my mom, um, like, maybe not this year, but then she saw this displayed and she could not resist because I was in a musical that year for one of my classes, for my musical theater class. I was in Your Good Man, Charlie Brown, as, uh, Marcy. Um, and yeah, she was like, I'm sorry, I know you said no more nativity sets, but this was very fitting. And I do love it. Um... It's all plastic, it's not fragile at all, and um, you can take off the, the the head coverings, you can take the blankets off their heads. Um, this hook, I have to like wedge it in Linus's arm because um, it just doesn't do anything. Um, Snoopy has trouble standing up by himself sometimes, so I have to be really careful with him. And I've kept the sign, even though it's made of cardboard, but it kind of, it goes with the, it goes with the set. And then you have um, Woodchuck in the little um, manger. So that's this is a real fun one. It's fun to set up. Um, I It does seem like it's made out of cheap materials. But again, I have a two-year-old niece. If she ever wants to look at it and play with it, um, this one won't break. So that's always good. Um, and right here, I'm pretty sure it was also a keepsake from my nanny. It also plays music. And when the music is playing, the train actually goes around the house and it's really little here's my hand touching it just to just to show you how small it is it's it's a really cute piece and I've I've just kept it because why not this one up here I believe is 
I may have also gotten it on my mission. It's another piece. I don't know where it came from. It's also a single piece, so I can't lose any of the pieces, which is great. Um, and then going over here, this is kind of like one of the things that helped start off on the collecting, and it's just um, the Holy Family with a manger, and I think the manger is really pretty, and like the detail on it is really cool. And the shepherd, and a sheep, and the donkey. So I've always liked this one because it's very detailed, and it's very pretty. And then this one right here is another favorite. I believe this one is also made of porcelain. All the pieces are made of porcelain. Um, and yeah, it's another one of my favorites. Uh, you got the donkey right there. Um, again, I apologize for the lighting, but um, the Christ child is not attached to the bedding. So I have to use a rubber band on him every year. <laughs> and it looks silly, but it's like the only way I can keep him from falling out of the bed. And then this one right here is also old. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's the holy family inside this thing. I really need to get a battery for the piece because it's supposed to light up. And you'll be able to see the holy family better. And then I just want to show off these two because they are really cute. These two gingerbread peoples. I've had them for years. Um... They've always been some of my favorite decorations. Um, and they're, I don't know, they're just so cute and I love them. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I actually had a lot of fun filming this and just like going around and talking about my Christmas decorations. I do have my tree up now. Um, if you want like a whole spiel of like my Christmas tree, like I just did with like all my nativity sets, please let me know by leaving a like and comment down below. Um, I'm going to have a fun time editing this one. I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm not very good at editing, so I'm kind of nervous about it. But, yeah, you guys are amazing, and you're super patient, and you're the best. Christmas is definitely one of my favorite holidays. It's probably up in the top five. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say, so I'm gonna go get myself a hot chocolate, um, eat some peanut M&Ms, because why not? I really do want to make a video of me showing um, my Christmas tree ornaments because they all have special stories and sentimental value to me as well, just like all the nativity sets that I have. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll leave that there. And please let me know if you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!